It was a matchup on the very top level as to where the buzz, I'm not too sure where his sonic resource is for practicing that matchup, but um, it would maybe not be as like top level as uh, Ken Kirihara, so to speak. Definitely, definitely. And even speaking of Ken Kirihara, there was a time where Ken could just not even touch Kirihara. I think the record is still like, like in the upper dozens in favor of Kirihara. Oh, wow. Yeah, so he had to completely get by by his character before he finally success. So that just goes to show how much he's grinding this matchup to finally beat this character. And when he's going up against the Buzz, it's, it's just going to be very difficult. But All right, so the I'm two liking hard what I'm seeing already. Yeah, the two hard hitters of the group duking it out already, but the Buzz has the lead here, 48%. Yeah, so back when, uh, this in the start of the game, Rosalina actually was considered a character that can perform really well against Sonic just because of the hitbox you can throw out to contest spin dash. So if we kind of see a return of that from the buzz, I think it'll be pretty difficult for Ken to get started. Also has very poor landing options when it comes to dealing with uh, the Luma up there as well. Yeah. Um, definitely has the spring to kind of reset, but it doesn't put you in the best position. Rosalina definitely having a bunch of anti airs to deal with the landing hitboxes there. Okay, the buzz not punching the landing too well. And Ken trying to apply this pressure. Oh, and there's the back air. back air on Smashville. That actually could have been devastating, especially with the platform position he had. All right, the buzz on ledge here. Nice catch on the neutral get up. Nice. And just like that, going to disarm Luma right when it spawns. And that, that's when it can be really rough for Rosa players, when your Luma gets killed back to back. So much pressure coming out from Ken here. Hey, but does catch his uh, spot dodge. Ken actually does have a bit of a spot dodge habit when he does run in your face. Can I use this quick move in the Sonic to get right in your face for you to do an option and then act out of spot dodge very, really quick. But the buzz looks like he's actually catching onto that. Been punishing the spot dodge really well so far, but cross up roll, throws him off stage, gonna put wow. all the damage on Luma, but oh. not gonna get the back air off stage. Yeah, he messes up the uh, messes up the punish on Luma, so Luma's gonna survive. The buzz gonna take that with him. The buzz, or Luma still online here. Oh, brilliant use of the uh, spin dash cancel into the grabs, forcing him into the air. I know he's using the F throw because you actually can't put Luma in a tumble with that throw. But I think the Buzz is actually doing the, the Luma recall just in time. Or just matching an aerial just so before I can't actually do that much with that option. Yeah, this Luma has gotten so much mileage. It's still alive. It's still taking hits. And yeah, he's getting punishes for it. Okay, the Buzz putting the pressure at the ledge here. Not going to get the full jab, but still keeping Ken exactly where he wants him. Oh, the spin dash high. Oh, and he actually got the cancel. Not going to be enough for the stock, but has him in disadvantage exactly where he wants him. Oh, really aggressive action coming from the buzz. Yeah, Swing that back here. Yep. Going to take out a lot of pressure in the buzz, avoiding these forward smashes really well. Nope, non range for the up throw, but Luma's right back. Oh, nice. Mm, very good Luma shot right there. It's still desynced. Puts it in the, the landing. Oh, just barely. But let's jump back here. Don't, no Luma required. <laughs> I don't need Luma. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hit you with the Rosa back here and kill you. Really good stuff coming out from the Buzz. Now he has a lead on Ken, game one. Okay, what's the edge guard? No, he's gonna give Ken a taste of his own message, but oh. the Ken special. Calls out the ledge jump with the back air strides. Now it's dead even. That was that was something else. He's like, barely thinking like, the Buzz like thinking, oh, you think you're slick, man. <laughs> nah, I, I got, I'm calling you out right here. Like, let me, give me this ledge jump. Yeah, and he was actually fishing for that in the beginning of the stock and then uh, able to pull it out. Okay, trying to pin Ken oh, on yeah, one nice. side of the stage, but I really like how you guys in the platform here. Smash give him a little roll. bit of time to reset. Yeah, Smash Roll platform is so good at that, just resetting um, ledge trap situations there. Oh, oh brilliant use of the nice. so yeah. Popped him in the air and then just use that just to get Luma right off the stage. Oh man, kind of a scuffle there to Buzz getting out, but Ken finding his grab. Okay, trying to trap the landings. The Buzz retreating to the platform here, but Ken still keeping up the pressure. Spin out, cancel into the grab. Gonna get another up throw up there. Oh wow, the Buzz trying to land, doesn't go on to the spring. Oh, I like the, the patience here. Coming from Ken, he's actually trying to play around the hitbox of the Buzz. Look at the whip punish, called out the dash grab. The double roll back. Okay. Again, these are safe spin dashes here. The Buzz gonna have to capitalize, like the delay on the up B. Not going to give him the, the down air he's looking for, but here comes the juggle. No. Retreating to the other side of the stage with the spin dash. Very good positioning here for Ken. Going to get the Luma out of here. No, the platform. Oh, the platform saves Luma. Wow. Okay, what's the call out? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Ken definitely not going for too much offstage plays. He's mainly going off of the ledge traps, trying to get those forward smash or back air reads that he loves so much. Here comes the buzz, though. He can't sleep on Rage, Rosalina, and Luma. Yeah, you got to be really careful. One grab could be a up throw, double up air away from death. Oh, nice. 
positioning there. You saw he was not safe with that spin that had very high chance of just getting tagged, but... Oh, the re-grab right there. Ken yes. going to take it. And the buzz kind of going for an all or nothing edge guard there. Tried to hit the downer, and after the downer didn't connect, he ran off and still tried to keep the edge guard going. Ken able to evade that, and since he grabbed the ledge before, gets the re-grab, and Ken really good punch with that yes. down smash. The buzz there actually uh, tried to get the ledge trump. He saw that he got that option on Ken twice. He had not uh, rolled on stage or buffered a neutral get up to deal with it. So he tried to go for a third time. Ken this not going to go for the same option three times in a row. Yeah. Mixed it up and actually forced that punish uh, the buzz for going off stage in that situation. So really good turnaround there from Ken taking the first game. Yeah, and that's so big because the Buzz had the lead too, especially against someone like your Demon. That's like a huge confidence booster. But Ken able to bring it back nicely, slowly, surely, and gonna take game one here. So we're going back to Smashville. Oh, wow, and that was really good. The Lunar landing, and Luma was hitting his shield as he grabbed him too. That was crazy. Okay, here comes Ken though. Again, he's having to play around the wall of the Buzz. Oh, okay, no tumble. tech chase. Yeah. Gonna get the get up attack in time. But wow, actually gonna get a clank situation yeah. with the up smash. Oh, I like the tricky recovery right there from Ken or landing. Brilliant there. lunar wow. landing. So clean from the buzz. Only 11% on the buzz. He's still up airing Ken. Still in disadvantage here. How's he gonna get off the ledge? Does get the forward air. Oh, gets a landing trap. He's looking for big damage. Oh, oh my okay. goodness, if he got the triple up there. <laughs> I don't know if it would have killed out 40%, but it would have been. <laughs> A Amazing. lot of damage, yeah. Okay, gets the grab, but doesn't put Luma in the tumble, but he gets the back air. And this is exactly what he wants. Try to hunt these landings from the buzz. Nice, the buzz coming in with that dash tag. Keeping oh, it nicely forward air. Wow, it's going to take it. I did not think that would <laughs> kill. I would be 110% How honest. many people has the buzz killed with forward air today? <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's at least five kills like, there. Oh, man. Like Rosalina forward air, not even Luma. Incredible edge guarding, like no Luma required too. I think that's what's catching people off guard the most about it. Let's see what the buzz can do here. Not gonna catch the upper he's looking for, but this I think this is the best position he's been in so far in this set. Can effectively kind of try to keep Ken out with these hitboxes, and since Ken's behind, he has to kind of force his way in with a spin dash, but that Luma is just a huge wall. Say, yeah. I don't care about this spin dash, man. Good luck getting past this jab. Yeah, it's very interesting. Um, oh, oh, air dodge back catch. Air. Not going to be the stock. But it will be the death of Luma. Let's see if Ken can apply the pressure. Platform's coming in, though. I like yep. that. The buzz did not commit to up B. But back throw. Uh, I don't think not so. Not enough. Yeah. With, with, with low rage as well. well. Goes for the spring edge guard. Great. Getting the sweet spot as well. Ken. Luma online. The consistent Luna landings from the buzz has been so clean. Oh, he uses a dash attack to get Luma in tumble. Forward smashing. Oh, nice. He actually mashed uh, an attack, so he beat out Ken's pivot grab at the ledge. That would have been the stock. The Buzz hanging on to this stock. Yeah, Getting survivability, so man. The Buzz is out here living. What? Or, oh. Count takes credit. We got to get at least one in. We got to get at least one in. <laughs> All right, 36% extra credit, though. The Buzz coming in. I love these uh, short hop downers and neutral. He's able to sneak in a lunar landing right before he lands, too. He's been catching Ken off guard. Yeah, and it's such a good option to deal with the spin dash as well because he's positioning himself backwards while throwing out a meaty hitbox to beat it out. Forward air? <laughs> oh, wow. I think, I think, are you kidding right now? <laughs> You're he's the buzz he's just he's as much as he is. But, oh, up, up air. Here comes the damage for Ken right now. Oh, but Luma's right back. Yeah. But Luma he actually up airs through that. Uh-oh, forward smash? Nope, oh. not going to get the double back air he's looking for. Okay, maybe he just didn't want to get, like, punished. Okay, but the Luma is online, though. Oh, oh, nice. Catches the roll grab. in there, yeah. Yeah, cross-up roll is a pretty strong option against Rosalina. She has kind of a blind spot behind her, but the buzz calling that out. Yeah, punishing the forward tilt to get rid of Luma, making oh, Ken pay for it. Another forward air. Ooh, Not going to be the stock, but again, still in disadvantage. Forced to go high to the platform. Ken is actually, like, he's, he has to be scared of the buzz right now because oh. of these forward air edge guards. Clean pivot grab coming out from Ken. Is he going to make this count? Oh, wow. One of the first times nice. you see Ken go off stage and he regrets it, puts himself in a bad position, misses the back air, and the buzz going to just kill him with the Rosalina up air there. Wow. Well, great reaction to the ledge jump coming out there from Ken. The buzz taking the game there, making it 1-1. Again, we've just seen it all night. The buzz dropped the first game in the crazy adaptation. Are we going to see it again yeah, I, from the buzz? <laughs> yeah, this is, 
the, the buzz special tonight, man. Lose game one and then just like come in with the hot 3-0. Yeah, down low complete. Are we going to see it from the buzz? Is the train going to continue and allow Nick to feed his demon here to secure a spot in the championship top eight? Yeah, this is a really big deal. So we're going right back into it. More of these short hop uh, downers in neutral. I'm really liking it from the buzz. It gives you that lunar landing option, or you can just empty land with the grab or both. <laughs> it's just yes. so good. The mix ups there are just almost limitless. But we're seeing the Tyrone City pick here coming out from Ken. Very brave pick, if I got to admit. Yeah. So, the uh, especially with just Rosalina's up there, just kills so, so early. Um, I know a lot of Sonics do like this stage, though. You do have a lot of those high platforms to reset on. But, of course, uh, the Buzz can utilize that to stall out time with no Luma. Exactly. We saw it in so many matches here today. But you that back here on Luma. Let's see what King can do. I love the jab there from the neutral get up. Yeah, Sonic's jab is so good. Comes out frame three, very long range as well. Yeah, having a quick option to throw out when you uh, use your invincibility from neutral get up is one of the strongest options you can have. But oh, catch the land with the pivot grab. Yeah, Ken is looking so strong. Only 16 damage on him. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, it kills good Ken. play by Ken. The buzz is slightly shook by getting caught by that one. He took a Dude, breath, yeah. took some time to try to <laughs> not get frustrated by that, but Ken just dismantling that stock, calling out the air dodge with the clean back air all the way in the top blast zone. Yo, Ken's like, I don't care where you are, I'm gonna come after you and destroy your soul. And that backer just was crazy. Let's see what the buzz can do. Ken is trying to oh, run with the momentum, <laughs> trying to four air string him across the stage coast to coast. Yeah, Ken feeling himself out here, man. The oh, the whip punches. I love it from Ken. The movement is so good. The buzz trying to force his way in there, but Ken is just staying right outside of range. But nice time on that jab there to beat the spin dash. Yeah, good reaction. Very hard to re react to that spin chart. There's the Here up air. Go. Okay, Ken getting out of that. All right. Now, yeah, now Ken has a very, very solid lead. He definitely doesn't have to approach now. You know, the buzz kind of in a position where he has to apply pressure. Oh, I love the spin dash time. He actually went through the Luma jab yep. and got a hit for it. Not going to get a max damage combo, but if you can consistently time his spin dash to beat out that option, the buzz is going to continue to struggle to keep Ken out. But let's see what the option is here. Great pivot F tilt to catch the landing. Yep, the buzz is starting damage. to get his offense here. Good damage coming out from the buzz, getting these trades. But got fortunately for Ken, that trade did result in Luma getting sent out of play. All right, the Buzz trying to go for these forwarders. I don't know if Ken's going to fall for that for the rest of this set, man. He's gotten a lot of uh, mileage off those rogue forwarders. Another, Another back one. air, but not the sweet spot there, unfortunately, for Ken. Another opportunity, though. Luma's still in play to Buzz, hanging on, getting a second chance at life. Oh. But, oh my goodness, I thought that forward smash was going to get punished. I mean, has the Buzz gotten hit by a single forward smash yet for a kill? No, right? Not yet. Yeah, I mean, he's done a really good job of not getting forward smash, and Ken is really good at landing those, so really good stuff to the Buzz. But he's got to make this stock deficit back to even. He's got to take this stock. Only 105 on Sonic. Oh, my goodness. The call out. Okay. Didn't even throw him. All right. The so the, Luma, the Luma's still online here. Definitely main source of kill power here. Up smash. Not going to connect. But that clean down air is barely hanging on. Let's see what the buzz has for an edge guard. Kin gets the neutral get up again. But look at the pressure. All the shield damage, oh, but... Oh, and there's a forward oh smash my for game goodness. three. <laughs> wow. Closing it out with the two-star. Yeah, very, very convincing game three. And closing out the move that the buzz hasn't gotten hit with. Yeah, you, you, are, set. you are the curse master today, man. <laughs> what do you got against the buzz, dude? I, I, <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, Ken, really, really solid play there. These forward smashes are spaced so well coming out from Ken. Very, very hard to avoid. Very surprising to me that the buzz was able to avoid all the way until like the last talk of game three. That in itself is very impressive. Yeah. So going into game four, the buzz needs to bring it back to this game five situation if he wants a chance at qualifying in, uh, for Sunday. Yeah, man, this, Top this eight. has been uh, an Kind of like what we're used to seeing. Like, uh, even though the buzz is all night being able to kind of adapt and then swing the matches around, Ken is just back into form against the buzz and just kind of mentaling his defense. But you see what the buzz can work with here is forcing Ken into the air. Yeah, nice. catching these landings already. 56% on Ken, only four on the buzz. Oh, oh. wow, that positioning so good. Calling out that approach a mile away. 
Yeah, this Luma has taken a lot of damage, though. I'm imagining the next, like, one or two spin dashes, it will just die from the damage. Okay, hanging back again. Oh, I love the down tilt positioning yeah, every really time. Stuff. Yeah, Ken trying to cross get that up, right but now. he's getting tagged for it. Yeah, the Buzz is playing with the heat right here. He does not want to go out to Ken yet again. He needs to secure this game just to reach a game five. These lunar landings coming out from the Buzz are so clean this set. It's insane. Going to catch that forward air. Here comes the damage for Ken, though. Up throw into the spring up air. Okay, the Buzz is actually going to get to jump to center stage, but find himself in a position where he gets juggled. No, actually, he already got that, but still. Oh, hey. and the yeah. Luma just oh came Oh, my out. God! Oh, what? That killed? Oh, he had to have been drifting back. Yes. He oh, was trying to get so... back to uh, advantage because he got he lost the Luma, but Ken called that out and just decked him again with another back air. Double back air to close that stock. That's, it's going to kill even earlier due so to the smash bill. Like, the Buzz had the lead. He was setting up for this game five situation, and Ken just kills him at 70 with the back air, man. Wow. Okay. Okay, the Buzz trying to make the, trying to hit the two frame, trying to make a play happen off stage. He has, he's down a stock, so he has to make this play happen. Okay, he finds himself in the same position as the last game. Ken was able to rack up so much damage. Look at that safe oh, Eptil, getting rid of Luma and applying safe shield pressure at the exact same time. Ken is looking so poised to take this. His play in the matchup is impeccable right now. Yeah, and it's this game has just been so hard for the Buzz to actually have a Luma online. Finally, another one comes back, oh, there but it there Fourth it goes. Gets rid of Luma as well. Wow. Back at the ledge. What does he have here? He's going to force oh, to retreat high. to center stage. Still, Sonic has the speed to chase that down. I mean, it, the Buzz could close the stock out. Oh, oh. no tech. Wow, okay. the down air. Yeah, the rogue down air gets it. Only 49% on the Buzz is definitely doable. Okay, the Buzz still in it. Not giving this setup just yet. Yeah, this is so important. Still okay. tons of time on the clock. The Buzz oh, yeah. does not have to force anything right now. Okay, it's keeping up that wall. Ken trying to roll in, goes with the double roll. Oh, that's good damage though. Trying out the landing here. Yes, that long lasting there. Oh, here comes the Sonic Vortex. Oh, that's tons of nair. damage. Still no percent taken from Ken. Yeah, and Ken is just doing such a good job. Gets hit by one of the jabs. Is this a dead Luma? Oh, oh look at the finish. jab mix up. You saw Luma reeling back, did not commit to the full jab. Yeah, the just, awareness from Ken's mm -hmm. off the charts, but we've seen how low <laughs> the percent this Luma up there can kill, especially with rage. Oh, oh good man. answer there from the buzz, not letting him, uh, not going to spot down there and getting hit by that F smash. Keeping himself alive. Wow, down to hitting from behind. Yeah, the buzz playing the neutral out so well, but Ken finally gets a hit, but he doesn't nope, get the Luma Luma's kill. still there. The buzz still in it. Oh man, how is Ken gonna try to close out? Tries to go for that back air. The Buzz staying very grounded. Oh, is Luma out of play? Yes, yes she, she is. is. All right, now, this that's, is time. The Buzz's low killing option is off the table. He's gonna have to go over. Oh, oh my goodness, the, the hard S read again. Smash. Wow, Ken, with these S matches, man. Oh my goodness, calls out the spot dodge with a slight charge of S match. Ken's going to top eight top on eight. Sunday. Yep. Defeating on the Buzz in another set, closing out this group with a clean uh, three one over the buzz. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness! And I know now the buzz will be guaranteed into the playoffs. Yes. So he will be playing Saturday, and the playoffs is going to be really, really hard, man. Oh my goodness, that's going to be a bloodbath. We have one of the best players, one of those consistent players. The buzz is still not even guaranteed in the championship, but brilliant display from Ken. This entire group, congrats to him. He's going to be moving on to the championship Sunday. And you know Ken's real happy to avoid that shark pool that is the playoffs, man. He's just like, yeah, I'm going to coast right into top eight Sunday. Let's go. Yeah, he kind of has a little bit of a breather, too. He doesn't have to worry about playing anymore until, you know, Sunday. There's a Trump into the Rosalina back air. And, I mean, to be fair, the buzz was playing really, really solid. Just oh, the, the game two and three, that's when Ken was able to clutch out those kills, man. Get those, like, you know, a little bit over 100 kills, especially with the forward smash. And just so much work. Yeah, the call-outs on the spot dodge with the forward smash are just so good from Ken. But look at this punish here from the Buzz. Very solid stuff, bringing up 1-1. One, one. And here comes the Buzz trying to land, but Ken gets it. Yeah, the Sonic Vortex. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, yeah, that was such a hype kill, man. Nowhere to go. Just yeah. hunting the landings down. Yeah, and that's the fun thing about Ken. Like, uh, some other Sonics, they'll be a little bit more defensive, but when Ken gets the hit, he wants you dead. Like, he is going after you, and he goes for so much crazy plays. Double back here. Oh, my goodness. This 
the horizontal blast ones in Smash Bros. are just so small, allowing him to catch that button. No tech there to buzz. Staying resilient, trying to claw his way back into the set. And he does get this comeback, but... This is the classic, man. The classic. charge. The charge to catch the spot dodge. Really, really good stuff from Ken. And it's so hard because it's so scary to get grabbed from Sonic. So, it, it, yeah, I can see the spot dodge, but it was just a really, really smart play coming out from Ken. Yes. And we saw it. I just want to know what the analysts have to say about that. You guys... Take it away. All right, and Ken takes it. Group A, win, making it out in winner's side. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable stuff. The yep. Buzz still has a chance in the playoff. Yeah, of but, course. And, and wow, what what a guy to run into when the tur when your tournament life is on the line. <laughs> yeah. The Buzz, I, I man, I <laughs> I don't want to be that guy. No, that's not for at sure. All. I don't think, I don't think anyone does. wants to. <laughs> yeah, no but one right now, let's send it back down to the arena. Vicky Kitty is with Ken. Thank you, Gunblade. And Ken, you have now made it into top eight. How do you feel right now? I'm very happy. <laughs> You're very happy. And how was that set for you? How did you feel going into the set thinking this could be it right now? This could be top eight or not? Uh, <laughs> I was super nervous, but I think I did pretty well. We think so too. Good job, Ken. Good luck with the rest of the bracket. Thank you. Mama. All right. Well. Oh. Big thank you to Vicky for that. Yeah. And once again, Ken, moving on, winner's side here out of Group A, the buzz in the playoff. Uh, just talk to us a little bit about that set. Oh, well, we, it was very, it played out very similarly to their previous sets. You know, in the end, of course, Ken was able to overcome the buzz once again, but there were definitely moments in the buzz's gameplay where he was able to just find those openings and mm. just catch Ken in some more unexpected uh, instances, particularly off stage. That's where he got the majority of his kills through those off stage edge guards. But meanwhile, Ken, forever resilient, just always able to find those those big hits. We saw that back air in that game four to take that stock absurdly early. And the way the two were moving around each other, it really could have gone either way, I feel. But in the end, Ken was able to overcome the obstacle that was the buzz. All right, yeah, Bam, man. quickly, please. Yeah, man. I mean, honestly, I think that you said it played out uh, very similar, and I think it's something that we all expected here on the desk. I think just a couple notes, man. Just Ken, really well done. Of course, let's bear the coverage. We've been talking about it all day, ever ever since we've seen DeBuzz on stream, talking about those edge guards, talking about the recoveries. We saw Ken really was the main one who actually was able to implement it out of the group and move on forward. Really saw 3-1, his damage, just great presence of mind there in the situations. And he just seemed to switch from def defense offense much more fluidly, much more quickly than DeBus. All right, and our next match up in Group A is the last match of Group A with huge implications on the line. T versus Sam Sora. Now this is for third place in the pool, so whoever wins this is still alive uh, and moving forward, at least into the playoff, right? Oh no, they're gone. Yeah. Oh, they're gone. Yeah. yeah. 